हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज प्रवीण अंचल एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अवर चैनल एनिमेटो स्टडी इन दिस पार्ट दैट इज द फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ रशियन रिवॉल्यूशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिविल वॉर इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ईयर ऑफ रशियन रिवॉल्यूशन दैट इज 1917 एंड हियर वी विल डील फ्रॉम द पीरियड 1918 टू 21 दैट इज द ईयर ऑफ सिविल वॉर एंड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सिविल वॉर when uh, you know vladimir lenin emerged as the biggest leader of russia after this uh, russian revolution so he was having so many enemies also so so the people who were supporting you know vladimir lenin and the people who were opposing vladimir lenin was divided into two parts so first part is known as white guard the second part is known as red guard so this uh, civil war of russia was also known as red versus whites so this red was supported by MRC that is military revolution committee under which there was a combination of soviet plus bolshevik militia the common people were supporting these reds so in other part the whites were supported by the rich people the nobles the people who were supporting to the king and the countries like uh, france britain and usa now the question comes that why france britain and usa were supporting to whites actually they were supporting why because Russia has came out of World War 1 and they wanted to continue World War 1 and the second reason was the concept of comintern that was introduced by Vladimir Lenin in 1919 what is the meaning of comintern comintern made from two words that is commune and intern so commune mean communist and intern mean international so spreading the concept of communism in the entire world is known as comintern that is communist international so the concept of communism is completely against the concept of capitalism and this country that is france britain and usa are supporting capitalism and they were opposing communism or the socialism so that's why they were in the group of whites so ultimately fighting for about 4 years who won any guesses Yes the red people won so after completion of this civil war and when Vladimir Lenin will become the supreme leader of Russia so he will create a new country which will be known as USSR that is Union of Soviet Socialist Republic so we'll discuss about this in the next part of this video that is the fifth part that is USSR and the Stalin era So that's it in this part we will see you in the fifth part of uh, this lecture till then bye bye happy learning and take care of yourself